Good morning from Dunnington Park Circuit. Um, I'm here to do Ron Haslam's school. Um, CBR 600 RR is what I'm riding today and it's been on the very top of my list of bikes I wanted to try on the track so I'm super excited for this. Hi Donington. Why are you always wet? I honestly am starting to believe that there's like a black hole here with this massive cloud above that's always always checking some checking some rain. Um oh it's so wet. <laughs> anyway, the bikes are all ready. This is my today's victim, CBR 600. I can't wait to see what it's like on a circuit. But the weather, I tell you, the weather is horrendous. It's so wet. Oh, my boots are already wet inside. <gasps> You'll be okay? Okay. Okay, let's do this. Donington in the wet because it's always, 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 always wet here. Always, always, always. BFR Oh, let's do this I always hated this corner and still hate it I hate this hairpin. <laughs> oh, red. Yeah. You're riding well. Oh, we had a red flag. Mr. Ron Haslam himself went out to check if there's no oil. Ron Haslam is here. I'm so starstruck. <laughs> I know this is a Ron Haslam school, but I honestly thought the legend himself wouldn't actually be here. Do you think he comes every week? Should I maybe focus on the track and stop talking about Ron Haslam? <laughs> hate, 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 hate this corner. Oh, I'm in such a wrong gear. Hate this corner even more. One thing that this rain makes easy is my instructor is leaving an actual line that I can follow. What a miserable, miserable day.
my crutch is wet. Oh my, oh, I have so much water in my boots. <laughs> it's so wet, <laughs> so wet. <laughs> Uh, okay, next challenge. We in the second gear for all of the circuit, and I have to try in that high side <laughs> with my happy tail tendencies. Tendencies, tendencies. Where's the accent? Okay, yeah, second gear. <laughs> He, was, he wasn't being rude, he was just telling me to go in a second gear. Oh my god. Oh my god, how much water! the worst conditions I've ever ridden in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, the wet, the conditions are just shocking. <laughs> Last session. Okay. Do you want me to stay in a second? Yeah. Second yeah. gear, yeah. Okay. okay. Okay? It's the best for the Well, actually, let's not speak.
fix the sun before this bloody hairpin. Oh, where are we going? Oh. We're going to fuel lap. It's pinky. She's so sweet. It was a good day. You do learn a lot in the wet, I tell you. I'm so spoiled by my traction control. And this bike doesn't have traction control and in the wet you, you just learn so quick to use the throttle wisely. <laughs> Proper full, thank you. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> long clutch here <laughs> this was fun considering the weather was absolutely miserable I'm so glad I finally got to ride a bike without electronics on track and a 600 it's been a long time since I've ridden a 600 sports bike <laughs> haven't crashed yeah made the best of that. that was a good session I enjoyed that well, they've all been talking about you in there have they all the boys what they say? How good you are. Well, no, well, that's what? the truth. Oh, they're thank saying, you. Yeah, so honestly, thank you. Been that was a good session. I've enjoyed it. Thank and you. Quite honestly, you can't do a lot more in that weather. Yeah, yeah. You go back down to uh, get changed. Yeah. And then I'll do your report for you. Okay, thank you very much. You thank you so much. 92.5%. We have Pinky Doodley. Nice. Another one on 92.5%, Matt Potter. Oh, hey, hey. Ninety-five. You are here every week. Every time. Yeah. Every I've time. School, dear, yeah. How long have you been running the school? This is now is twenty-one years. And no? and you've been attending every event that you can. I, attend. I actually miss one. Wow. Uh, I went to Japan with Leon. Wow. So I did miss one. What is your main go goal of running a, a race school? Right, the yeah. biggest thing that we did is when I stopped racing, uh, I was still, you know, madly on, on bikes, wanted to do bikes all the time. So this did the opportunity to come up to run a race school, which was fantastic for me. So I went straight from, you know, professional riding straight into a race school. And uh, it could be no better, you know, because uh, everybody that finishes racing, they don't know what to do with, with their life. So, for me, it was perfect. You know, uh, I went straight into the school, and uh, I get no more. Yeah, you know, I get so much enjoyment. Actually, it doesn't matter if you're beginning to ride a bike or you don't know how to ride a bike, or you're at uh, you know at eye level. You mm. know, we can sort everything out, and you can see the progress in them. You know, when they first come to the school to when they go at the end, you haven't got to tell them that they've got better. They know they've got better. Yeah. You know, which is that's the the biggest key point. You know. Because you can always try and say, oh yeah, you've had a good time, you've done this, but no, it's nice when you always see that, you know, they, they go away knowing more about the bike, with more confidence, um, and that's the, well for me, that's the enjoyment of it. Okay. You know. So I'm understanding that um, advanced riders still would benefit from it. So if someone is, feels they're quick on the track, you still feel like they can come here to the um, elite? So we get a lot of racing lads come that... Uh, feel that they're at a level that they can't get past, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, I'm quite confident we can take them further. Yeah. So there's a lead for, for uh, advanced riders and it's on, on uh, the CBR 1000. Yes. Then there's Premier, Premier yeah, which on is on 600. 600. Yes. But um, the, the, the paddock action, the yes. end of paddock. Then we have a, what we comes... call on track. Yeah. Um, and what you get with on the track, you get, uh, you get time to go on the track. And so that's whether you can all just ride a bike, you'll still get time to go on the track. Okay. And once you've been on the track a bit, then we'll go into a, it's a better way for it, but it's a big open tarmac space, which uh, then we can take the more, take you to a more advanced level. You know, so in there we go for heavy braking, uh, cornering, position on the bike, uh, knee, knee to the floor. So mm. a bit in the racing side of it where you can start positioning yourself and that. Not all riders want that. They want to just ride the bike on the road standard. Mm -hmm. but then you get a lot of the young lads that want to, you know, feel what it's like to yeah. put the knee on the floor, you know, and uh, how to do it and where to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we get real, you know, really good uh, response from that. You know, you get the young lads that really can't touch the floor with the legs, but yet 
at the end of the day, we've nearly, we've nearly got the knee on the floor. Yeah. So, uh, again, it's the achievement that you see, and it's that's the excitement of yeah. it. You can see that you know they've, they've really enjoyed it. Yeah. And it looks, at first sight, it kind of looks like a CBT arrangement, because uh, arrangement, you have cons set up in, the, in the, this massive area, but it's, it's very different to CBT. Uh, mind you, you don't need the license to try it, so it's for 12 year old? No, from 12 years, 12 years up. Okay. And uh, we get a lot of the actual, you know, the older generation, when they see what we're doing with it, um, you can see how much fun it is, and how yes. much you can learn off it. So, yes, I'm 12 year old, but we also get a lot of the older ones wanting okay. to have a go at it. Um, especially when you see, you know, they see the actual, you know, we're doing figure eight for the knee on the floor, we're doing cornering on a set, a bit of a track. We do go through cones to start, which is to see if we've got any balance. But then we'll go into every break with the front break where to the point where it'll probably do a stoppy, where the back wheel will come off the floor, you know, which is, it's not your CBT stuff, yeah. you know, it is more control and advance yeah. uh, of a bike, mm -hmm. you know, and you haven't got to do this, it's just, you know, the instructors will look at you and think, yeah, you're capable of doing that, so we can take you a bit further. Yeah. We literally were taken after our training past them, and I thought, oh, what's this, oh, what the cones, oh, this guy's got knee down, knee down, knee down, and then it just looked magnificent, because there was standing water everywhere, Yes. and it looked like a lot of fun, It is, yeah. and especially in these conditions, to learn to do these things. As yeah, I say, on that, it's the CB500, which is a nice bike to wait with, easy bike to ride, but we've also got the 125 and the 300 as well, so you can go small if you want. Mm -hmm. um, I say, the CB500 is a very low cut bike, low seat, so even the younger people or the smaller people can sort of cope with it easy enough, mm -hmm. you know. And as I say, it's, it's a good uh, introduction to, uh, I call it tarmac, yeah. you know, because uh, you get a lot of the young lads coming from the motocross world, and the dirt world, and again, we go from 12 year olds, so they really haven't had any experience on tarmac, you know, so it's mostly the first time for them. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we just get a real big buzz out of it. But it's that initial getting them on the bike, because again, the parents, Oh, bikes are dangerous. Bikes mm -hmm. this, and it's not. If it's treated right, it's uh, you know, yeah. it's enjoyable. Is that how you feel about it? I do. Yeah. 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 I think if it gets treated right, then yes, it's it's okay. Because that's tough, and I'm, I'm I'm have this passion for motorbikes, and I really like them. But I'm also a mother, and if my son wanted to ride bikes, I wouldn't like it. No. <laughs> so it sounds really horrible, but it's always my ultimate question for someone who's been passionate about bikes all life, and clearly you're okay with uh, you know having um, your, your child on yeah. the motorcycle but does it ever cross your mind thinking maybe I wish he was into chess more and less into racing? I think if the person really wants to do it whether it's the son or not then that's the big point you know I think you've got to watch that the parent don't shove them in a shove them to do something they don't want to really do themselves. Where does your mind go when you watch him crash? Because the, the old and park crash just... The problem I've got is if I didn't believe that he want, you know, that's what he wants to do in his life, you know, so as far as being very bad about the job, that's what he wants to do in life. He wants to race bikes, mm -hmm. he wants to win bikes. And my side of that is if you don't do something that you want to do in life, then it's not really worth it anyway, you know. Um, and that's the attitude I have to take, you know. The danger side of it frightens me to death every time I get on the bike. Mm -hmm. You know, the the pressure of that is horrendous, you know. And uh, I can understand now when my parents says, you know, it's all right for you, you know, you don't know what we go through. And at the time when I was riding bikes, I thought, it's me that's on the bike, not them, you know. Now I understand. I've, you know, I've had the same yeah. where, where um, no one in my family, no one I care about is happy with me riding. Yeah. Um, but only recently someone I cared about crashed and uh, that just completely changed my own. Okay, that is a lot easier actually to be yeah. the one that crashes than watch someone else crash. Is, yeah, yeah. So it must be so hard for you to... It's to so see. hard watching him out there. And uh, as I say, the only the way I get around it is that's what he wants to do. Yeah. And uh, if you forced him into something else, it's not really what, what it wants to do in life, so it's, it's a bit pointless. Yeah. Yeah. So you think you always stick to bikes? You're always going to be around bikes? Always, always bikes, I think, yes. Uh, but again, it's whether it's the grandchildren or whatever, it's up to them. If yeah. they like bikes, they want to do it, they'll do it. If they don't want to, then it's yeah. okay. What are your hopes for the race school? It's doing really well, it's been doing well for a long time. Do, do you think about 
staying in the same track or changing anything about it? I like, I still, even now, I still like riding bikes. I still yeah. like now actually teaching. You know, yeah. I, I like to see the opportunities to go to a young rider or, you know, uh, to have the chance of it. Oh, when I say young rider, it doesn't matter. It can be a, a back to biker. You know, it can be 60, 70, 80 year old. It doesn't matter. If you can see that they're enjoying it, then yeah, that's what I like. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have a large variety of people attending the school? As I say, massive from from uh, you know twelve year olds up to eight odd year olds. Uh, again, as you say, you know yeah. the girls look love it now. They're getting a lot of yeah. girls now coming yeah. through. Uh, early on, when we first started, there was there was like not not really any hardly, but now we're getting quite a lot that's mm -hmm. uh, enjoying it and uh, riding bikes. I must say, I think this is the safest environment I've ever tried to learn in because it's not like a track day, which is already a safer environment to learn in than a road ride road yeah. riding environment. But today, I was out only with the instructor. There was no overtaking unless we were, we were getting waved past by the people in front yeah. of us. So you're always supervised by instructor and so is everyone else. It's very controlled, but then when you can say on the other hand, it's, we can take you to the limit, you know, to your limit. Yeah. You know, and once we can see that limit's being reached, that's when we'll start to hold it back a bit. You know? yeah. um, and yes, I think you know the the instructors are very good at that now. As yep. I say, they've had 21 years at it, and most of the instructors have been with us all the time. Mm -hmm. So they've really got into uh, you know, how how to do it now to get the best out of uh, the customer. Yeah. You know. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for Thank having you. me. I had a great day. No Thank you. So I say, good morning. How do I say it? And I went, wow, that's awesome. And then, and then Mary O'Hara, 98%. And then you go, all right. And then Fred Blogs, 97%. And, and then all of a sudden you realise, actually, you're shit. <laughs> Everyone else got nearly 100, and oh. you've got, you've got 90. <laughs> You're in the room as well. Oh, God. Yeah, she, oh, she got 95 or 96%. 95. Wow. <laughs>